What is up you guys? It's been a minute since I picked up the camera, but I'm in Springfield right now. If you guys hear how loud it is, it's because I'm at the shop. So they just finally found the leak in my tire. It is my actual tire having a leak. It's like the tiniest little one. So they're plugging it right now. They're doing it right now. And I got my APU fixed yesterday and I'm waiting on a load to get in and then I'm headed back to New Mexico, the same Walmart in Las Nunes. So that is what is going on. Um, I went grocery shopping a little bit, but I have to go to Aldi's before I leave out. And yeah, Pum, you gonna say hi? You say hi? Say hi to them. I also need to clean my truck again because it's kind of giving dirty. And if you guys want like a video tutorial on how I have everything up there secured. I feel like I've been getting so many questions, so I'll probably do a video anyway. But let me know in the comments like if you guys want that. It's gonna be so nice not having to put air in the tire every pre-trip. Now look, oh, I also got rid of the beanbag chair and I put this ottoman and it lifts up so I have all that space now and it's higher up so he can actually see out better than he could with the beanbag chair. So I don't know, I think he likes it and I like it. It's giving more of like a aesthetically pleasing look. Um, yeah, and I got a Stanley y'all. I'm part of the Stanley world now. Look at my Stanley. I wasn't gonna do it, but I like the color, and honestly, I need to drink more water, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get another one, because the last one, I'm not even gonna lie, you guys, I had to pee in it, because I had to pee so bad, and I didn't have anything, and I peed in it, and then I had to throw it away, but yeah. Y'all, so the load didn't end up coming in till pretty late, and then um, the trailer had to get fixed. That's why a lot of people don't even bring their trailers into Prime if they're like keeping the load, because they're always gonna find something wrong with the trailer, but I just got it. It is currently 11-28, April 5th at night, obviously. Um, and the load delivers April 7th at 1400 over in Las Nunes, like I said earlier. Right now, I am getting a truck and trailer wash because when I tell you guys, my truck was so dirty when I got in here um, from the last load. Uh, yeah, because it's that season where like all the bugs and stuff are on your windshield and yeah. So I'm just getting a truck wash because at the terminal when you have a trailer on you, I think it's like $10. Yeah, it's so fucking windy. But I need to wash my windshield because the truck wash at um, Springfield did not do a good job at all. So I'm going to do that, but it's so windy I feel like my camera's about to fall.
our delivery. Um, I can't deliver for two more hours. I just woke up. But we're gonna walk down here. It's so nice out. Earlier in the morning it was cold. I got here at like five in the morning, I think. Um, it's probably like noon right now. But yeah, I still don't have another pre-plan on me because I denied it because it was really not good. But hopefully they send me something before we get unloaded at the Walmart. That is where I parked because there's no truck stops near here besides a Maverick, but it's always full. It was full again last night. So, yeah. Where are you going? Where are you going? Do you have some gym? Okay. Yeah, he's so greedy. Hold on. Hold on. Sit. Pound it. No, sit. Pound it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Good boy. Is it good? y'all we are all unloaded um i just slid my tandems back forward a little bit and then shut my doors and stuff obviously i'm headed to go pick up the next load but it's only going to pick up tomorrow hopefully they can do me in the morning but my appointment is at 2 30 in the afternoon so i'm gonna head over there tonight and it says that there's a washout two miles away but it's probably not going to be open tonight because it's a small one so i'm just gonna head over there and figure out where i'm gonna park and yeah we have 200 and 80 miles to go so not too bad i'm just gonna drive over there and i will see you guys tomorrow when we are getting loaded we are in freona texas about to pick up this load headed to laredo but we're getting a wash out i need to get my truck washed but later we will do it we're at this little i don't know little shop over here. Got palm in the cut, obviously. And yeah, about to go get this load. We are all checked in. Um, I'm just waiting on a door, door number five. I'm not sure how this is gonna go because, watch out baby. So this is 22 right here. So I don't know if it's gonna be all the way down or what, but there is, a, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's nothing back there. So I think I might have to do a blind side or I'm not too sure. So I guess we'll figure out what is going on when we get down there. But the guy is like gonna be pulling out of the door, I think. I should walk over there honestly because I'm not too sure what is going on over there. I left my camera in the truck. So we're on my phone, so it sets. But look, you guys, why do I look over? I took Palm on a walk and look at what it is. I'm scared. Is it gonna like come after me? It doesn't even look like the fences. Oh, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. 
Why am I scared? Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> I'm so scared right now. Oh hell no. Oh my god. No. I'm scared. No, I can't breathe. Oh. Oh my god. Why is it staring like that? Oh my god. <laughs> Pom didn't even bark or nothing. He's scared too. Y'all, I'm not even gonna look back because look. Like it doesn't even look like the fence is. Uh uh. Come on. Let's go. Let's get the fuck. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so scared. Uh uh. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Is no way. Fuck that. Come on, boy. You're gonna have to go somewhere else. Ain't no way. Look at how scary you look. But I don't even like, I like horses, but. Uh-uh. Y'all, my heart. Right, he just looked like he wanted to like attack us. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Oh <laughs> no. You don't have to. I don't know where you want to go. Y'all, look. He wants to get us so bad. Why are you being mean? Not I want to go up and pet it, but he's scaring me. Uh-uh. Bruh. Oh, he kind of looks sad though. But it's one wire, y'all. Like, he could just... Oh, he's kind of cute.
Good morning, you guys. I kind of forgot that I was vlogging. Yesterday, I went to the Prime Drop Yard in Laredo to do the inspection. I slept there this morning. I just dropped the load and I had to run back to Love's to get $100 cash for a lumper fee. So I just did that. I dropped the load off on the side of the road right now, trying to figure out where I'm going, but we have it right here. So this place is literally, basically I'm picking up a repowered load from a driver who broke down. So I'm driving two and a half hours to go pick it up and then bringing it up to Houston. Okay. Say hi. We're getting it, you guys. I don't know if I can get in. Hold on. Good morning, you guys. Free whoever's baby daddy I just got this trailer from. Literally, they brought me out here in the middle of nowhere in Texas. The jail is right here. And um, the trailer got taken to some random drop yard you guys just saw me pull it out of. So... Yeah, I don't really know. I'm just assuming something went down, but I guess that's not a good assumption to make because I have no clue. But anyway, free him if he's locked up. And yeah, we're going to get on the road. Hold on. It's so windy. I feel like you guys can't hear me. Let's go to bed. We're going to get on the road. Uh, don't mind me, y'all. I'm a mess. I have some of yesterday's makeup still on my face. I have yet to shower. I dropped my load over in Laredo earlier. And I dropped the load over in Laredo and then they sent me this repower to pick up. So going to Georgia, but I'm dropping it in Houston because it wasn't paying enough for me to go all the way to Georgia with it. So we're gonna go drop this load in Houston and then I pick up in Byron, Texas tomorrow morning and I'm going to Colorado with it. Um, I'm gonna try to stay more west now instead of staying east now the winter is settling down. Um, that's the plan so that I can get good footage for you guys. I know you guys missed the driving footage and everything like that. So we're going to get back into it. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to go lock up this trailer and type in the address, see where I'm taking it to Houston, and I will see y'all later. this trailer I'm gonna go park at the truck stop take a shower get my life together really fast tonight and then come back here tomorrow look for an empty hopefully they have one um, but I'm gonna continue vlogging for you guys tomorrow I know I've been doing a really sucky job with social media in general but we're gonna get back into the process of everything that is gonna be it for this video I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video